in continuation our discussion on exploiting the debt holders while taking the advantage of leverage let's see how debt overhang problem can be estimated and what are the leverage ratchet effect how much leverage must a firm have is a significant debt overhang problem there is an approximation rule to measure this problem of debt overhang this rule says that the equity holder will benefit from the new investment opportunities only if the project's profitability index is exceeding the relative riskiness of the firm's debt times its debt equity ratio and for a, for a firm who has zero debt or a risk free debt the net present value will be greater than zero and for the risky debt in that particular firm the required cut off is is positive and it will be increased with the increasing level of leverage we have an example to compute debt overhang here we have two company shares and sec and we have their respective values of their equity betas debt betas and debt equity ratios requirement is there to determine minimum npv such that a new hundred thousand dollars investment will benefit shareholders and which firm has mo the more severe debt overhang problem and for the we need to determine the cutoff level of profitability index and that comes to 0 0.0375 which means that there should be at least npv of three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that can benefit shareholders and so far as the cutoff level of profitability index of tax is concerned it is one it is point one six seven five so there is a severe debt overhang problem because its shareholders will reject all the projects that have even positive npvs up to this higher cutoff rate the shareholders can benefit only if this firm cashed out by liquidating its assets up to 116750 in order to pay an additional amount of 100000 dollars in dividend to its stockholders so how agency cost can affect the value of leverage we need, we see that owners and managers may be induced to increase leverage even the firm a value is declined and similarly the equity holders benefit at the expense of the debt holders in that particular case with financial distress cost we see that shareholders finally bear these agency cost because the debt holders recognizing this particular problem pay less amount initially to the firm when the firm is going to issue debt so this reduces the distribution available to the shareholders in the form of dividend the net effect of this issue is that the reduced initial share price of the firm uh, that reduction is in fact in line with the decisions of the negative npv of the project so we can say that uh, that the initial that at the initial stage the price of the shares reduces in line with the uh, negative npv of the firm's decision so the likelihood of the firm's default and losses on its debt holders create these cost of agencies or agency cost of debt the riskiness of the firm's debt level rises with the magnitude of the agency cost agency cost represent these these particular agency cost represent an other cost of increasing the firm leverage that will affect the firm's optimal capital structure choice we have an example that would the agency cost arise if the firm owed 0.4 million rather than 1 million to its debt holders we have an option where there is no investment decision then the firm's assets would worth 900000 the debt debt value is 400000 and the remaining 500000 dollars will accrue to the equity holders and if the firm takes a risky strategy then the assets will worth 1.3 million or 0.3 million 
and with the payment of 400,000 debt out of these assets, the equity will worth 0.9 million or 0.0 million dollars. So the expected payoff to the equity holders would be 0.45 million. The equity holders will reject this risky strategy and it will be reducing the expected payoff to them. So what about an under investment issue? We see that in that particular case, the new equity issue will be 0.1 million. The firm assets value is 0.9 million. The value enhancement is 1.15 million while deducting the debt value of 0.4 million from these amounts. We have a net gain of 0.15 million for the equity holders. So equity holders are paying off of 0.15 million for an investment of 1.1 million. This means that equity holders will be accepting this new investment strategy as they are here better off in this particular case. What is leverage ratchet effects? We see that this effect captures two observations like the existing debt holders induces a firm to increase leverage despite of the fact that it will dec be decreasing the firm's value. And other observation is that the shareholders will not have an instant incentive to decrease the leverage by buying back the debt even the firm even this decision will increase the value of the firm this ratchet effect is an important additional agency cost of leverage affecting the firm's future growth and is its other financing decisions this effect in fact induces the firms to borrow initially a lesser amount in order to avoid these costs but over time this effect may lead to higher leverage as the owner prefer to use more debt in the firm how debt maturity can be related with the certain covenants you see that there are several ways to mitigate the firm's agency cost of debt the first way is to use of short term debt instead of long term debt but this reliance on short term debt will obligate the firm to repay or refinance its debt quite frequently and also the firm's risk of financial distress will uh, increase the uh, cost of financial distress to an unexpected level and the second way is that uh, the debt covenants may be there these debt covenants may limit the firm's ability to, to pay a larger amount of dividends or it may restrict the firm's investment decisions it may also uh, limit to acquire new debt by the firm and it the it may limit the management's flexibility because uh, this covenant decision may get in the way of the positive NPV projects and in this way these covenants can have their own cost for the firm.